Hello everyone and happy weekend. I hope everyone had a good yoga week. I know we did. So today's session is on completely different topic, urinary tract infection and how Ayurveda can help. We, to talk about this, we have Dr. Lakshmi. Dr. Lakshmi Krishna is an Ayurveda doctor and she is joining me live from Kerala. Um, welcome and namaste. Namaste, namaste. All okay. right, so yeah, please explain us because... Okay, I am Dr. Lakshmi Krishna. I have done my uh, BMS and currently working here in Desha Mangalam in JK Health Centers. So now let's move on to the topic, right ma'am? Please, go ahead. Okay, so, uh, urinary infection. So like, uh, first I'll give you an information about what is urinary infection. According to Ayurveda, there is like different term. We have different term. We use Mutra Krichra. Mutra Krichra. That means uh, difficulty in passing urine which is one of the symptoms of urinary tract infection. Like uh, also this urinary tract infection is second most infectious disease. Like every other woman suffer from urinary tract infection. And it's really common in our OPs that bo generally women come to OP with uh, this urinary tract infection. Men, they come, but they are rare. In women, it is more because uh, like due to some hygienic problems, I think so. Whenever like we, I talk to patients about like how uh, to track the route from where did they get this urinary tract infection. First of all, uh, the wiping. Whenever we clean the vagina, what people do is like they wipe the vagina from backside to front side. And that is the wrong way. We have to wipe the vagina from front side to backside because the major cause of this urinary tract infection is E. coli which is situated around the anal region. And this enters our urinary tract and further creates problems. So uh, I can't like, there is no certain medicine or anything that I can like disclose. Every person's body is different. So is the medicine is different. Like uh, for one person, that medicine will be will act as medicine. For other person, that medicine will be a poison. In Ayurveda, it's according to the Prakriti. Like we have three Prakritis, Vada, Pitta and Kapha. So according to that, we give medicines. Also, there are certain features, like certain things you should really care, take care of are, first, do not use any vaginal wash that are like, people are branding so much, so much about vaginal wash. They really create one of the major problem of this urinary infection. Uh, recently, a girl came to me about the, she's using some vaginal washes. She's having a little bit irritation, but for the odor, like for the smell, she uh, she's having some leucoria and things. She's using this vaginal wash. And this has created so much issues that she has full uh, recurrent urinary infection uh, symptoms. She has abdom uh, abdominal pain, lower back pain, painful urination, burning sensation, itching and several rashes due to the itching, there is all full of rashes. So like, uh, I think one must avoid, women must avoid vaginal washes. Instead of that, we have, uh, in Ayurveda, we have trifla powder, trifla churna powder. It has like, it maintains the pH and you can use simple plain water. Second one is the, you should drink plenty of water, plenty and plenty of water. In this, like uh, here it's rainy season and people don't really drink much water. And at this time, the urinary infection, people come a lot about urinary, complain about, a lot about urinary infection. So drink a lot and lot of water, like uh, whatever your body needs. And third is, according to Ayurveda, one must avoid spicy things. If you are having urinary tract infection, you should avoid hot, spicy, pungent, sore things. So that like pickles, should be must be avoided if you are having a urinary tract infection. So there are some do's and don'ts. Uh, <clears throat> according to uh, our Ayurveda, there are many medicines, uh, but we cannot suggest one single medicine as uh, it is according to the Pragati. But one medicine I want to like uh, refer is Gokshura. It is Tribulus Teres botanical name. You can uh, make water, decoction type of water, using this Gokshura. And you can drink throughout your day. It's little, like not tasty at all, but you can have throughout, if you're having urinary tract infection, you can have it throughout the day. 
and uh, it gives really good results. And you have Trifala Churnam, Ashwagandha, <clears throat> Brihatyadi Kashaya, but it's, it all depends upon Pragriti, like if what Pragriti you are before. You should like before taking any medicine, whether it's Ayurveda or any medicine, you should consult a regis registered practitioner. Like if that suits Ashwagandha is one of the most like ruined medicine. Like everybody uses it for some protein powder, like protein powder, but it can in longer run can cause side effects to your body. Even if it's Ayurvedic, it has several side effects. So like any medicine, whether it is uh, Trifala, whether it is Varnadi, Chandra Prabha, you should consult a registered practitioner before taking it. But Gokshura, you can take if you're having a uh, urinary tract infection. Then some of the things you should take care before, like uh, avoid public toilets. Like it is quite, if you're having recurrent urinary tract infection, <clears throat> you can take Trifala. Trifala has really good results. Uh, you can use ashwagandha too, but uh, like I said, you should consult a registered practitioner before taking because these ashwagandha and uh, shadavri, they really calm vada. Otherwise, you can take gokshura if it's pitta imbalance. Like we, Ayurveda classifies people into three, vada, pitta and kapha. Similarly, this uh, mutra krishna, urinary tract infection in Ayurveda is also classified into vada, pitta, kapha in which there is more of like itching sensation is more. Pitta, there is more of burning sensation. And Kapha, in which there is a lot of secretions coming out of them. So there are three. Or For Vada, we can take Ashwagandha or Shatavari. And for Pitta, we can take Gokshura. And Kapha, that of Kashaya, like uh, astringent property drugs you can take. And... Um, I want to point out like what all home remedies we can do is like coconut water. One of the best thing we can do is having coconut water. You can take it frequently if you're having urinary tract infection. Ginger along with amla, uh, Indian gooseberry. It is really rich in antioxidant. If you take it daily, it is uh, considered to be as a having a resina property. It is uh, also included, it, Amla is one of the content in Trifala Juna, that uh, medicine I suggested. Uh, also, you can have ginger tea in case of urinary tract infection. If you are diabetic, you can have barley water. But in case of barley water, you have to take care that you take it before 6 p.m. Because it, ha it has a, some diuretic property. What is it does, if we take barley water after 6 p.m., your sleep will be disturbed due to like frequent micturations. These all can help. Uh, these all things can help you with your recurrent urinary tract infection. But the drug of choice is Gokshura, that is Tribulus terrestris, as Panajala means uh, de not decoction in the water form, not in a concentrated form. Water form taken throughout the day. You can take it frequently. You can add some sugar candies or like anything for sweet honey or anything because the taste is not that good you can add some honey or uh, sugar candy and have it frequently throughout the day and this has shown really a good result in modern uh, we all know that the first line of treatment is antibiotic but in ayurveda with this simple simple drugs we can get result in relic without any side effect or without harming it, our body and Trifala, there are researchers that have shown that Trifala has really very good effect. Like it has really uh, found useful in people. Uh, these bacteria, urinary tract, when you have recurrent urinary tract infection, you have antibiotics. Frequently, you have antibiotics. And these microbes or these bacteria becomes resistant to these antibiotics. So there is no medicine for such people. And Trifala has shown a really a good result in such cases where antibiotics have not worked. So like we can, without an antibiotic, we can cure our uh, urinary tract infection without having any side effect by natural ways, having triple agokshura, etc. Okay, I think I think that's that's really great. And you talked about the hygiene part of it, right? If we yeah, are using, yeah, yeah. especially women using public toilets and they're not clean, I mean that is also one of the concerns. Um, and and also, uh, I know it's a very sensitive topic. But what about the the sexual part of it, right? If uh, do you think that also can um, 
give urinary tract infection. I just wanted to bring this topic yes. up. I know we don't talk about it, but it's important to talk. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, uh, people actually do not urinate do not urinate after having like sexual activities and all like it should be really cleaned after that and this can be one of the cause of recurrent urinary infection you have to once after having any sexual contact you should like clean your vagina and parts around it so that you don't have further infections like it is like uh, people in op come uh, and this can be one of the reasons like they do not wipe off their vagina or clean their vagina after sexual contacts. And also, if uh, in case of STDs also, people can transmit this urinary tract infection if you are not using proper contraceptives. Okay. All right. Well, this was a completely different session. We, we, were, we wanted to bring this a, a sensitive topic, but a very important topic for women, especially, right? Yeah, um, yeah. That because are women more, are more prone to urinary tract infection. Men are not that prone. Women are more prone to urinary tract infection. Absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Lakshmi. To everyone, keep supporting us. We are so humble that you are supporting us every single day because we want to just educate you and empower you. And that's what our mission is. And we will continue to do that. With that, have a great weekend, everyone. Namaste. Thank you.